there anything else here? No. That's it. Alright. Balana, we're moving. Oh, no, we're not moving yet. Barrels that need to be struck down. Oh, three arrows. I guess those that I just used. Oh, and I just said there are not gonna be any more fights. Ah, I have mistaken it seems. There we go. They're now blocking the way out. Because they are te tactical rats, you know. They learned from Master Splinter. Well, they didn't learn about actual combat from Master Splinter, they just learned about tactics from Master Splinter. Alright, nothing here to fight. Do we have something here? Of course we have. Change back to the good old spear because we're in the middle of it. They don't seem to be too difficult enemies. This this red is just running around. Come on. They also don't have much health. Come on. If I change the weapon mid animal lore, she actually just stops doing anything but animal lore just goes on. It's actually something I want to test now because I just had an idea. First of all, I need to collect all that shit. Then I can test this. Alright. Pause. And then we'll do... This on you. Then this on you. Okay, doesn't work. I thought I could chain stuff. But I can't. Right. Let's just take a quick, just a quick glance in here. If you may have missed, it, may have missed something. Oh no, nothing here. All right, we got the lucky stone. Let's give it back to that person that lost it. Yeah. Where's this guy? Hey. So you are back again? Have you found it yet? Yeah, here it is. Two, two fucking talas. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's that's nothing. Okay, I guess there are a lot of locked chests because they belong to those people. Oh, who's this? Oh, weapon. Weapons. The ah, weaponer. Please feel free to peruse my wares. Chandor Stalwart sells nothing but the best weaponry. All right, let's uh, let's take a look. That's fucking expensive. Uh, but you're actually selling nothing special. Oh, a cutlass. Oh, a pike. It's also two-handed. Uh, it does two more damage than the spear. It's a longer weapon. But actually... Uh, mm, doesn't seem too much better. A hand and a half... And a halfer. So you mean a hand and a half hander? Is that, is that how you say that in English? That sounds ridiculous. All right, let's take a look at you and your shield. Uh, the same thing. All right. So nothing better from this guy. 
I even see that fucking bow here. Why, how, why can I not take this bow? Do you sell this bow? Okay, there's a guardsman. There is that. Townsperson. This this woman is a bar wench and she is selling beer outside. Okay. Burdock Pale Ale, freshly tapped. Oh well, she just sells Burdock Pale Ale. Alright. Do you want rusty nails? I have a few of those. Also a few pelt scraps. Nuts, also. I can sell you your own beer. A mouse trap while we're at it. And of course, a few wolf rats. Okay, these guys are just townspersons who have nothing special to say. Seems like it. Nothing here. Right, I guess we can't pass on here on here. Oh there's a devotee. May the light of prayer oh. shine upon you. How can Okay, okay yeah sure. Let's ask him a few questions. Tell me more about Prius. Prius is a senior god of the twelfth god Pantheon. He is a god of sun as well of as of justice and authority. First month of Aventuria year is dedicated to him. Would you like to know more? Tell me more about of your god. As a master of gods, he is unshakable so sovereign and follows the same path through the heavens every day. The demigods Ukuri and Horus are among these gods of allegiance to him. Alright, so we could now duck deep into their religion, but we, we're not. Let's go to the Temple of Briars. Before we do good. Let's check out everything before we go on with our quests. That's what I usually do. Always do the side quests, then the main quest. Alright, where are the barrels that I can... What was that? Did you see that? Suddenly got all white. I'm going crazy now. They are the townsperson. Oh, there are a few. Can I do anything here? Seems there are a few soccer fox. Oh, there's a door here, but we can't go through it. Okay, we could read a lot here, I guess. Praise be to prayers. What is your desire? Who is Gilbert of Hoon? He's a saint of the Church of Priors and a protection from sorcery. Oh, that's basically a quiz that we can take here. All right, let's let's have a look around. Next, uh, so we actually have to read through things. Okay, that's that's going to be difficult because normally I read through things when I am. Um, playing alone, but I guess as a let's play it might be a little bit, you know. Okay, there's only thing I can read. These people don't mind that I just run around here. It's pretty nice. Alright, let's have a quick, uh, quick through. Uh, so, okay. I guess he is testing me on all of this stuff. Okay. Let's take let's, let's take a look at the first part. Loss was wounded when he slew the giant Sumu, and blood flowed from his wound. But before a single drop of his blood had fallen upon the giantess, Loss transformed himself into a ball of fire which rose up into the endless night of the heavens. From that day onward, Bryce illuminated the world of Ifra, bringing light and order to the universe. Ah yes, sure. In the light of Bryce's radiant days, gaze, and all the creatures of the world, from the mighty gods to the human folks, and the lowly worms and insects, lived in order and harmony under his divine rule, and all things had their blaze and were true. Prior spoke to divine words, let it be, let all things be good and darkness dispelled. Wherever evil darkness diseases and chaos should be fester, Prior's wrath soon strikes harder. Hard, the mighty Prior crushed all that disfigure his world with their foul presence. He is a gardener clearing the weeds from the beds. That is seething. Oh, that's, that's getting really dark. 
Uh, okay. No, he commanded them to fight against evil, seek to protect us, right? Just okay. I'll come from heavens. Ah, fine. He is the one. He is truth, order, just and light. Ch justice and light. He is one with. This is getting a really little bit ridiculous now. He is one with divine order. His commands are in truth and truth for all eternity. No, this he is one. This is this is going crazy. This is this is a cult. Like the Catholic <laughs> religion. He is the, he is the, okay. Bless orders without peril and without end. He orders time. He gives us okay. He gave order to the elements. Waits for. He brought order to the human folk, the noble rule and descent. Okay. Without Briar's divine rule, we human folk would be but muddled wild apes barking in the darkness. Stupidity and lust would devour the god, the good driven on by baser instincts. Alright, yeah. <laughs> okay, screw it. Ah, there you are. Yes. Who's give of someone bring out the light? I didn't even say that. Dora Dora. Uh, Damn it! Uh, you moron. Okay. Who maintains order everyone in the world? Uh, Horus. Shit. Are you ready? Dora Dora. <laughs> God damn it! Are you ready? Uh, Garavan. Jesus Christ! It's not an available answer here. Okay, I'll drive and number one. Who takes the heavenly disc of the sun? Jesus Christ, Garafan. Where did it even say that? I'm bad at this. Okay, what are, is, what are the questions? Who's the lord of all griffins and protectors of lower beings? Garafan. Okay. That was a nice guess. Who watches over the hours of night when the Lord's eye rests? Brunnabor. Ah, oh, goddammit. Selesa. Sel no! Horus. Goddammit. <laughs> Ukuri. What's the purpose of my test? I just you consider your behavior. Okay. All right, fuck off. That was unnecessary. I don't. I don't believe in gods, especially when they claim that they are the one that. Uh, that <laughs> this is nonsense. This is like the, this is this is like the Catholic religion, like religion overall. Well, not not a cool religions like the Norse or Greek mythology. <laughs> Those are the core cool religions. <laughs> Alright, well, what do we have here? Grado Helmroyd. Oh, you sell armor. Splendid. Let's take a look at that. Leather arm greaves. They are exactly the same like I do. The helmet would be better, but it is ex but it's not expensive at all. Per tunic is a little bit better than mine, but not enough for me to do that. Oh, that is... Wait. Race restriction says, okay, woman cannot wear greaves. Or these greaves. Well, like, we can wear these ones. They cost five ducats? Are you, are you shitting me? That's fucking expensive stuff you have here, good sir. Uh, have my... Well read it, have my beard wrap. And those new snare. I could buy soldier's boots. Let me do that. Oh well. Not yet. Let's let's leave that be for now. What do you sell? Shoes? Fine linen! Oh you also sell armor, but uh But a more blessing kind. Yeah, there are a lot of different shoes, but they all do. I guess that's more now for looks and stuff. Am I wearing pants? Yes, I wear a range of pants. 
Okay, that's just a magician's cloak. I don't like that. Soldier gloves. I think... Let's see, does she not? Uh, she probably... Yeah, she has much better stuff than this. She's always also wearing pants, we bought her pants. She also she is also wearing gloves. I think there's nothing I can do for her as well. Alright, I'm okay with that. Seems like we have explored everything here, so let's let's go on with the main quest. Because there is a guardsman in front of that house. Move along now, please. It's forbidden to enter this building by order of the town guard. Wait, my friend lives here. He was murdered? What the shit? Okay. Oh, he, he wrote me a fucking... Yeah, he wrote me the letter decently. Okay, somebody needs to be able to tell me something about this. Okay, Bala Borkensmith, she's a leading investigator. She should be at the guardhouse, not far from here. Alright. Thank you, Rolana. She's, she, see, she's much, she much better than fucking Trano. He's still not here. Fucking dick. Alright, let's go to this guardhouse and check that out. It's a little bit strange that we're running around with a spear here. But hey, what can you do? Oh, there she is! <laughs> you won't believe what just happened, Reuben. What happened, Madam Captain? Ha! We just caught that would-be scoundrel Draenor. Oh, shit. <laughs> he actually tried to climb over to the city walls! <laughs> and he fell! Oh, right fucking Draenor. He was complaining all the way to his cell. Oh, oh, hello. How can I help you? Um, my name is Cassandra is wrong. And, uh, yeah. Auto boss was a friend of mine. Uh, you can be sure that we will do Alden Power. She, she cannot tell me anything. So. Uh, okay. But there is something and there might be something. Come on, something. Okay, there is a reward. I connect with your deputy. Sweet. Sure. Okay. I'm acting officially with as the fellow town guard. There have been three murder victims. They all died in the same way. The first one was the old beggar Elko. He was found in a wilderness home. The second was Sander Kunga. He was the Inman Inman player, known as Dragoon. That's probably a game. And Ardo was found at a wharf in the harbor area. Garden Duty will give us details. They were already asked, questioned a certain Gladys Rolmir and Ardo's bodyguard, a dwarf named Forkrim. Where can I find these guys? Forkrim is in, uh, in the silver pitcher, Devon. And he's drunk since, well, he, his friend died. And Gladys Slot Romir. She's all also seen around the Wagoner's home. Uh, okay. Alright, goodbye. Well, about uh, actually. How can I help you? Did you just mention a certain Tranor? 